Good afternoon to you. Yes, indeed. Pretty glorious out there at the moment, but it wasn't so uh, this morning. We had uh, a lot of low clouds, some dense mist and fog patches across much of the country. Here's a wonderful view of the Shard there in central London early this morning. But it wasn't long until the strong May sunshine melted it all away, seeing skies like this. Uh, in fact, some unbroken sunshine across England and Wales. Good afternoon. Despite what we have outside at the moment, we did start today on a rather misty, murky grey note. Some dense patches of fog, as you can see here down in Greenwich first thing. But that strong spring sunshine has burnt it back to blue sky. And we head through the afternoon with further lengthy spells of sunshine and the temperature feeling warm. Right, here's the weather. It's gorgeous. You're going to love it. Let's take a look. <laughs> Hello again. I hope you had a good day. Look at this beautiful swan. Very proud of her babies and rightly so. Uh, we've got some lovely weather for them to enjoy as the days go by this week. Yes, some misty, slightly dull starts, but as that burns away, we get these nice sunny and dry days. And it's getting warmer as well as we head through the week too. Uh, by Sunday into Monday, later on Sunday, that's when we've got risk of getting a slight breakdown. Keep an eye on the forecast for that. It's obviously all that detail still coming in. But for Saturday here in London, we could end up at 25 degrees. So quite a bit warmer than today even. Today's been rather pleasant and about seven degrees above average for this time of year. So there we go. Something to look forward to if you like it warm. And if you've got plans for tomorrow evening, well, a lovely one to look forward to. A bit of cloud around, but otherwise some lovely clear spells and a decent outlook as well with those temperatures on the climb, particularly by Saturday. That's it for now. Have a great evening. Cheerio. What a lovely day. Gorgeous, Finally. Isn't it? <laughs> Finally. I know we've been waiting for it long enough, haven't we, Sophie? Yeah, some warm, settled weather for most of us out there today. This was the picture in Whitstable in Kent. So, yes, we've had a lot of blue sky and sunshine, but there's been a little bit of cloud drifting around too. And there's more of the same over the next few days, really. High pressure keeping our weather settled at the moment. So some spells of warm sunshine, not completely dry. Bit of rain around across the north of Scotland, but for most of us, much drier than it has been. Uh, we also know that we've uh, waited quite a while, haven't we, to see the sunshine and it feels very, very welcome, as are you, Sarah. Tell oh, us more. Thank you, Riz. Yeah, we have definitely been waiting for it, haven't we? But it's much appreciated out there, that sunshine that we've had. And there's a bit more of it to come over the next few days as well. So, yes, we've had blue skies over the River Thames today, but also we've had high spring tides. So this was the picture earlier on this afternoon in Twickenham. We've got some quite strong river flow in the River Thames at the moment as well. Now, as we head through the next couple of days, then we keep the sunshine. It's going to be generally dry. There could be some mist and some fog around, I think. So not completely blue skies out there. And Becky is soaking up the sun in North London this evening. And Becky, tell me there is more to come, please. I will, because I like you so much. I will tell you that there's more to come, at least for a few days. And I am finally feeling like the most popular girl in the country. And believe me, it has been a long time coming. The sunshine is out, the temperatures are on the rise. And even though everyone is back to work after the bank holiday weekend, where everyone should by rights be feeling rather gloomy, everyone is so happy in the sunshine. The mood uplift is palpable. Now, certainly we're already well above the seasonal average today, around three to five degrees, which is not bad at all. Uh, admittedly, it's a fairly low bar, but by the start of the weekend, the temperatures climb still higher, peaking at around 25, even 26 degrees, which is or will be our warmest day of the year so far. Now, it's high pressure, which is giving us these lovely conditions at the moment, and it has definitely been lacking for these last few weeks and, in fact, months. It sort of acts like a lid on the weather and it sort of settle things down and we are going to be seeing it continue to be in control over the next few days. Now as we move towards and over the weekend those temperatures start to build and build and build and it's going to be absolutely gorgeous but by the time we get to the second half of the weekend and into Sunday it starts to peel away to the east and you'll see with a sinking heart that we've got systems moving in from the west and that brings a return of the wind and rain into early next week, potentially thunderstorms, but for now, let's bask in the glory of the forecast. I almost think that we should be screenshotting this. It says warm and sunny. My goodness, how long has this been? It's largely dry as well, but let's skate over this bit. It does turn cloudier and wetter from the second half of the weekend. 
So the main message is enjoy this glorious weather. We've waited so long for it. Enjoy it while it lasts because after Sunday, we're not likely to see it again till the end of the month. <laughs> oh, Becky, you always bring the sunshine. Thank you.